SSV divider valves are key components of a Lincoln Series Progressive Lubrication System. They can be used on mobile and industrial equipment ranging from just a single valve all the way up to a multiple valve system servicing a large number of lubrication points. Today we will discuss the operation of an SSV divider valve. The job of the valve is to accurately and consistently dispense a precise measured amount of lubricant to the individual lube points. This consistency will provide lubrication to critical wear areas that extend machine life and reduce unscheduled downtime. To demonstrate how a valve operates, let's take a look at this clear see-through valve and cutaway. The only moving parts in these valves are the measuring pistons that are machined and matched to the outlet pair they control. Intricate internal porting directs lubricant into the different chambers, pushing these pistons from one side to the other in a pattern starting from the top outlets, cascading down in a series to the bottom outlets. Lubricant will then redirect through the internal passages to the top again and slide the pistons in the other direction following the same top to bottom pattern dispensing lubricant out the second set of outlets. For the valves to operate correctly, outlets labeled 1 and 2 must never be plugged. Plugging even one of these outlets will stop the lubricant flow to the entire system. Any combination of remaining outlets may be used or plugged depending on your lubrication requirements. If an outlet is plugged, please note the lubricant will redirect from this outlet to the next open outlet beneath it. This essentially doubles the output volume to this next open outlet. For the standard SSV valves, this is the only way to increase the output volume to a specific outlet. For example, this 10 outlet valve is only using outlets 1 and 2, while all other outlets are closed off. This means that each of the two active outlets will receive 5 times more lubricant than any single outlet. When designing a system, lubricant volume and proportioning needs to be considered to ensure proper lubrication. When selecting a valve, let's say you have 8 points you need to lubricate, however, 2 of these points need double the amount of lubricant than the rest. In this case, you would not use an 8 outlet valve. Instead, select a 10 outlet valve and plug 2 outlets to redirect their lubricant to those 2 outlets in need of the additional volume. There are 2 rows of factory plugged ports. These cover the metering piston ports and must not be removed unless the piston detector is required. Any of these ports can be used to install the piston detector or proximity switch. To connect a supply line to the valve, use the 8th inch MPT inlet. The valve outlets along the sides are a metric M10 by 1 thread. Specific fittings with ferrules such as this quick link fitting are used at the outlets. The ferrule on the end blocks an internal cross port passage, forcing lubricant through the fitting. Inserting a closure plug allows the internal cross port passage to be used, therefore redirecting lubricant to the next outlet. Other features of these valves include visual cycle indicator pins. To ensure correct valve function, the pin will move in and out while lubricant flows through the valve. Cycle indicator pin movement is key in troubleshooting the system. If the pin is not moving but the pump is running, check to see if the pressure relief valve on the pump is discharging lubricant. Discharge here indicates an outlet on any valve is blocked and the system is effectively hydraulically locked. Installing a high pressure lubrication fitting on the outlet of each valve allows you to manually cycle the valve with a grease gun to troubleshoot the system and identify the faulty valve. Should a valve be subjected to harsh or high risk environments or potentially submerged, we offer valves without the cycle indicator pin. A bent cycle indicator pin due to severe conditions will keep the valve from cycling, therefore locking up the system. Always be sure to install these valves in a safe location or provide adequate protection when necessary. This was a quick overview of the Lincoln SSV divider valve. I hope you found this information useful so you can feel confident when using these valves on your equipment.